Hello you all. In this video we will fractionally distill the previously made pyrolysis oil. As you can see the crude pyrolysis oil is nearly black in color and has fine particles suspended in it, and some paraffins formed a small amount of gel at the bottom of the char. The distillation we perform is similar to the process used in the petrol industry to separate the different hydrocarbons from each other. Therefore we fill the crude oil in a 1 liter 2 neck round bottom flask. At the end of the pouring you can see the solidified paraffins that formed a gel with some of the lighter hydrocarbons splashing in the funnel. To get a better separation of the hydrocarbons we install a short Vigrus column. This column works by enhancing the surface on which the gaseous hydrocarbons and the cold glass have contact. The hydrocarbons condense in the column and release their condensation energy thus heating up the column. The so heated column has a lower temperature than the mixture in the distillation flask. This leads to some reflux, reflux means that a liquid is evaporated and condensed back into the evaporation flask. On the so heated column wall some of the hydrocarbons are evaporated again but this time the percentage of lower boiling hydrocarbons is higher than before, this happens all along the column and separates the lower boiling from the higher boiling hydrocarbons. But enough about the theory, after we started the distillation the first condensate comes over at around 40 degrees centigrade and some minor reflux can be seen in the column. Due to the water present in the oil azeotropes are forming, this means that the vapor coming over is not only made out of hydrocarbons but also containing water, even though we are around 60 degrees below the boiling point of water. The presence of water makes the collected fraction cloudy, but it is not enough water to form a separate layer. I chose a setup where I am using a distilling spider which normally is used with all the NS14 sleeves connected to single neck round bottom flasks, but halfway through the construction of the apparatus I noticed that I am out of NS14 connector clips to secure all of the flasks. So I just went with one flask at a time and changed them out when I wanted to collect another fraction. The first fraction I wanted to collect was from 40 to 65 degrees C, so when the thermometer reached the 65 I swapped the flask out and continued distilling. In the time lapse you can see that the reflux in the column and the distillate level in the collection flask are both increasing. With higher distillation temperatures the water content in the azeotrope increases which can be seen by the cloudiness and the direct separation of water and hydrocarbons in the condenser. The water present is most likely due to insufficient inertization of the reaction chamber's atmosphere which leads to oxygen reacting with hydrocarbons to form water, this in turn has two reasons. Number one is that I may have used too little carbon dioxide to get rid of remaining oxygen from the air and the second is that the ceiling I am using is not really made for this purpose and that air could get in the chamber through the isotherm ceiling rope. There is a considerable amount of gases dissolved in the pyrolysis oil which can be seen at the adapters of the distilling spider, these gases are driven out of solution during the distillation due to the decreased solubility in hot solution. The second fraction was set from 65 to 85 degrees C, so when the temperature needed was reached the collection flask was switched again, as you can see the way I am doing it is complicated and labor intensive, if I had had the right equipment the change of collection flasks would be just a matter of twisting the spider 90 degrees. The second fraction is a lot more cloudy and has a yellow color to it which shows us that the composition of the two fractions we already collected differs quite a lot. The third fraction from 85 to 95 degrees Celsius has two separate phases, with the upper hydrocarbon and a lower water layer. At around 160 degrees decomposition reactions occur in the distillation flask indicating that the non-heat treated pyrolysis oil is not stable. 
the distillation was stopped when the decomposition occurred and the flask was swapped again to save the third fraction. Here you can see the different fractions and how they vary from each other in water content and color, all of these fractions were dried by first separating the organic and the water layer and then stirring the organic phase with 10 cubic centimeters of 3 angstrom molecular sieves to yield. Nice and clear hydrocarbon fractions which will be shown in a later video, here are all the datas I collected about these fractions. The distillation residue was transferred into a storage vessel and will be processed later. Have fun and do not kill yourself.